Weekends are supposed to be a fun time for kids. Our responsibilities go out the window. All of them. You have nothing to worry about. You can hang out with your friends. For me, it was riding our bikes around the block, playing basketball, football, paintball, you name it. Just really, really cool stuff. But not this weekend. Well, I got to go home, rent movies, watch The Exorcist for like the millionth time at that point. Michael. Michael had to deal with the, the woman, woman in the, the white, white dress. dress. Now this fun weekend became Michael's waking nightmare. Now, Michael's mom really did whatever job she possibly could to keep a roof over their head. And because of where she worked at the restaurant and the high turnover rate, she was very lucky in the sense that she could pick up as many shifts or jobs as she needed for the month. In this case, twice a month, Michael's mom had to go in late to help clean the entire kitchen. Unfortunately for Michael, it was the day that he and his sister had crossed paths with the woman in the white dress. So there sat Michael, late into the night playing video games. He made sure the front door was locked, the windows were closed, the stove was off. He did everything his mom asked him to and he checked on his sister was sleeping on her bed. And there he was just playing round after round after round just having the time of his life because again, in our eyes, Super Nintendo plus Street Fighter 2 plus a couple of movies that he rented equaled the perfect weekend. Who could want more? What more could you ask for? So there he played on and on and on and he did his thing. But yet he couldn't shake this odd feeling in the back of his neck. You know that feeling you get when you feel somebody's watching you. When you wake up late at night for no reason but you can't go to sleep and... You also don't want to open your eyes in case you see something you don't want to see. Well he kept getting that feeling but... As quickly as it would show up, it would go away as soon as round one started again. And he played and played and played. He checked on his sister. She was asleep. Window was closed. The blinds were drawn. Everything was going great. Round after round after round. Until he heard a silent creep come up from behind him. He immediately turned and there she was. Amelia. What do you want, Amelia? Michael said. The woman's at my window. She wants to know. She keeps asking. Will yeah, you, you play, play with, with me? me? Michael was horrified by what he heard. He wasn't sure how to deal with it. He was just confused. Um... What do I do? He asked himself. Obviously she has to be dreaming. It's, it's probably just a nightmare. She's still dealing with um, the lady we saw back at the at the shack. She's just she's just being silly. That's all. It's just an, it's just a dream. Let's uh let's take you back to your room. So he walks her back to her room and he puts her back to bed. And across from her bed was his, so they shared a room. So his bed was on the furthest left wall, and hers was on the furthest right. And in between them, the wall facing out into the front lawn, there was a window with the blinds drawn. But behind it, he saw a shadow looking into them, a shadow of a woman in a dress and he was very concerned at first he thought it was his mom maybe she had come back from work early but that's not possible it was only 11 o'clock at night she wouldn't be back till 2 3 in the morning he was tempted to open the blind and see who was outside slowly reaching to the blinds in front of him he began to push him aside until he heard a voice <laughs> Michael's chest erupted with endless fear knowing full well that the woman in the white dress 
had followed him and Amelia home. He grabbed her by the arms as he heard a tap, tap, tap on his window, knowing that it wasn't locked. He reached under the curtain, hoping that the woman in the white dress would not notice him. Unfortunately for him, she already had. In a sudden click and clack, he locked his window, retreating out of his room with his sister by his side. He closed the door behind him, hoping that the woman in the white dress would not follow.